<laughs> All right, well, we live in an age of disposable everything except for those boots. That's those for sure. are never to be disposed. Never. But if you actually oh. take the time to make something, you're a lot more likely to hold on to it, aren't you? We sure are. And we found a guy in Largo who's teaching the art of blacksmithing. It turns out there are a whole lot of people who are eager to create their own metal masterpieces. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. Here in this quiet residential neighborhood in Largo, there is a man that's teaching people how to do something that's been around for thousands of years. You could say he is the original Iron Man. Let's go see what he can teach us. Buck has been teaching his students blacksmithing here at his home studio since 2002. They'll take something like this wrench here and turn it into something like this knife. Rob loves teaching young and old the art of blacksmithing. He's already gotten me started with a piece of metal that's being heated up to 2200 degrees. This process is called forging. Hey, Cindy, why don't you put on those gloves so we can be safe here? I will put a glove on, but I will keep my left hand free so I can hammer. That's right. right. You want to have the dexterity to swing the hammer. Okay. Very good. Somebody's yeah. paying attention. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. All right. Yes, this is uh, it's about 2,300 degrees in there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. And then you're going to go after me, okay? Perfect. All right, so. This over to the forge. Mm -hmm. We're going to lay it flat on the face and we're going to do angular blows, working our way down the blade side of the knife. I feel like a Viking. Yes, you, yes. Look at those sparks. Okay. I, I don't have to do it fast, do I? Just no, have to hit actually, it. take your time, raise the hammer higher and move slower, and that'll be much more effective. There you go. It's not so. a race. Not a race. This is not something I thought that was in my wheelhouse. Well, believe it or not, you know, talking about ancestry before, mm -hmm. everyone has a blacksmith in their family tree. This is true. Whether they want to admit it or not. Yeah, they had to, right? Yeah. It's right up there with the top professions of all time. Ooh, that thing is hot. Rob says the popularity of the History Channel's Forged in Fire has many people interested in learning this art form. The show tests some of the best bladesmiths in the field as they attempt to recreate some of history's most iconic edged weapons. Forged in fire. If I can get people interested in making a knife, and this is kind of like a gateway drug into blacksmithing, we want them to explore other options of what they can do. But if they don't, and they just want to do bladesmithing and make knives, daggers, and swords, <laughs> great, because <laughs> they're still sculptures. Right. And we're going to inspire them to do so. After more hitting and heating, smash the heck out of it. Hitting and heating, we do a little finesse work. Try and hit it all the way on the end and imagine it curling down. Curling down. Curling down. Okay, now we're going to lay it flat. See how you curved it I into did. a trigger? I did. Look at that. Woo! Felt flat. like nothing was happening, but it did. <laughs> now hit it right over the top and just flatten that back down. Awesome. Okay, that's good, that's good. It's time to cool things down. Just dip it in and pull it out. Woo! There you go. Take your little arctic There you go, bath. a little bit at a time. You can dip it in there a little bit longer, then pull it out. There we go. And then okay. dip it all the way in and cool it down. Congratulations. Thank you. You forged your knife. I did. Now for the really fun part, sharpening it. <laughs> Time to make it shiny. We are done. Let's lift it on out of there. Okay. I'll loosen it. And you All just right. bring it over there and cool it off and dry it off. Ah, uh, take a little bath. There you go. Look Stop at that. Hot. What Try do you think? Swallow it like a baby. Yes. And For our creation. There you go. What do you think? Congratulations, you made a knife. I did make a knife. It might not go through anything any harder than butter, but I still made a knife. You're a blacksmith now. You're a great Congratulations. teacher. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you very much. Do I get to keep this now? Is this you legal?
Yes, she does get to keep it. Uh, just don't put it in your carry-on luggage. Yeah, that's don't, all. Don't, don't get anywhere near you. Hey, Ra now, Rob what Buck I signed it for me. It said, stay sharp. There you go. This what, is sharp. What I really want to see you do now is I want you to go back to that, <laughs> that blacksmith shop with those boots on and make that knife. Can you please do that? No, I can't. <laughs> It's called the Wrought Iron Arts in Largo, if you're interested. And they can teach anybody, obviously, if I could do this. Come on, Cindy. Seriously. Stop. The Straz will let you borrow those. Okay. One more day. Thanks. We'll be right back.